please form a line, people. Draw a waiting... <coughs> I'll draw a waiting number, and the mayor will see you in a short while. What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor is about to decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well, I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the Dark Exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story, too. Mine even has a dragon in it. So move to the back of the line and draw a number like everyone else. I hate lines. I hate lines. Those notice boards are great. I mean, if it wasn't for them, I'd still have to search for magnets in trash heaps. I'm more attractive. Everyone, just one number! Spoil sport. Yeah, spoil sportress, I guess. Number 66, almost my lucky number. Every office needs a good soul. Maybe someone should tell the mayor. The post office will be open o'clock? O'clock? What o'clock? There's something missing here. This doesn't have to be uh, <laughs> waited on. Bada boom! <laughs> the post office will o'clock? What o'clock? There's something missing here. Hello, Lottie. You too. <clears throat> you too? Dear me, what a day. Where's the girl from Elysium? Princess Sugar. <clears throat> yeah, Princess Sugar Bottom? Oh, she's lying around in the assembly hall. Of course, I knew you came because of her. That's always the same. <clears throat> always the same. A beautiful young girl in a tight jumpsuit falls from the sky heavily injured. And immediately, uh, everyone's falling over themselves to help her. Hussy. Hussy! I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. Although a lot of people will be glad to hear that. Me, for instance. That won't be possible today! <coughs> the mayor is pretty busy at the moment. I want to see the mayor. Everyone. <coughs> Everyone does. Take a number and wait your turn. Can you make an exception and let me in before the others? It's your turn when you... The number comes up! No exceptions. Not even for me? Especially not for you! But the line isn't moving at all. Who's next anyway? Number 62. I think that's Wenzel. Wenzel is also applying? But Wenzel isn't even here. Well, it's his turn. Wenzel is up next. No exceptions. I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. This is Wenzel's house. He'll be flabbergasted when he hears about my newest adventure. I bet he'll be pretty disgruntled because he decided not to come with me. He'll start shaking and get crying fits. 
why am I not as cool and daring as you, Rufus? <laughs> I also want to experience such great excitement. <laughs> but deep down in his heart, he knows that he just isn't cut out for this. He'll get seriously depressed. Oh boy, I really hope he's home. Wenzel! Hey, Rufus. Back already? That was really fast this time. Yeah, yeah. This time, I almost made it. Unfortunately, like so often, my human kindness got in my own way. Of course. That darn human kindness of yours. It's always getting into your way, right? Indeed. You never get anything done anymore. Well, there are just too many humans. They should all be... Drowned in the Red Rust Sea. Exactly. That darn human kindness. By the way, thanks for all your stuff. What? Wait, isn't that my chest? Well, you said I could have your stuff if your plan works out. But... And your plan did work out. You just said so yourself, didn't you? Yes, yes, but... but... Well, that's settled then. Have you heard about that woman from Elysium? Who hasn't? This wouldn't have anything to do with you, by any chance. Hey, you know me. Wherever there's a woman that needs rescuing, I'm there. You're right. There really does seem to be a connection. I was there when the girl fell from the sky. It's all right. I'm sure it was just an accident. No, you're getting this all wrong. I saved her. Of course you did. Don't you want to go to the town hall? To apply for giving shelter to the Elysian woman? The thought has crossed my mind. I even got a waiting number, but then I thought, what have I got to offer? Yeah, nothing. If I were rich or found a water vein, I might have a chance, but like this. So what? As long as I haven't found a water vein, I don't even have to show up. How the hell did you manage to open the trunk? Well, all you have to do is disengage the childproof lock. But the only thing in there was this weird stick. That's my father's divining rod. You think so? Legend has it that it always brought him luck. He found the water vein Kuvak's built on with this very rod. Yeah, well if my father really always had that much luck, then why didn't he manage to take me along when he left Deponia? I haven't the slightest idea. Hey, maybe you can find water with the divining rod. And where, pray tell, would I start to look? In my basement? I should say that's highly improbable. Later. Exactly. Don't even think about it, Rufus. It's mine now. But it's a family heirloom. So? A gift is a gift. Boy, I can hardly wait to give it a try. Maybe I can find a well somewhere near. And once I'm rich, we'll split 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> I might lend you the rod for a couple of hours. Hey, that's my dad's divining rod. By the way, you're holding up the line. So what? As long as I haven't found a water vein, I don't even have to show up. He wouldn't know what to do with it. He doesn't even know what to do with himself. <laughs> the divining rod doesn't register anything. Well, it obviously only detects clear water. I don't think so. <laughs> Never mind. If my impeccable sense of orientation doesn't fail me, I should be under the shower right now.
I'm more attractive. I don't think so. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, Wenzel. What's up? I want my heirloom back. A deal is a deal. Oh, come on. We're friends, aren't we? And friends stay true to their word. Oh, yeah? And that's written down where exactly? Just forget it. Later. Exactly. Hey, that's my sponge. Correct. He wouldn't know what to do with it. He doesn't even know. Wenzel has attached a protective cover to his chimney. What an egomaniac. Where am I supposed to practice spitting now? Wenzel has attached a protect. What an ego man. Where am I supposed to practice? I don't think so. <laughs> Never mind. Huh, this is a map of the trash tunnels. I'd better ask Hannock how this all works. Hey, why aren't you working? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan, that's why. Oh, the blast signal. Take cover! Imminent blast! Nice parrot. Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes in the mine shaft. Oh, what do you do when that happens? We get a new parrot. <laughs> I see.
Wenzel has attached a protective... What an egomaniac! Where am I supposed to practice spitting now? Oh! The blast signal! Take cover! Imminent blast! Oh, the blast signal. Take cover! Imminent blast! I thought you're on your way to Elysium. Have you come back to pay your tab? Oh, that. Oh, well, listen, Lonzo. I, uh, I plan to do that, but constructing an escape vehicle costs a lot. And, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, Rufus. No one here expected you to make it. Huh. Ah, great. Thanks, I guess. Yeah, sure. As if it was even possible to hit that board with the dart. What's that supposed to be? Is Lonzo building a cactus press? Or a faster mixer? Impossible. He would surely have asked me to help. Nat's piss. The only thing to drink on the planet. Huh. Not true. Luckily, I'm not susceptible to advertising. Huh. I could do with a steak now. Poor Lonzo. He'll be lost without me when I'm gone. Lonzo? Yeah? Long time no see, Lonzo. A long time indeed. Anything new? Hey, you know how Kubak is. Nothing ever happens in Kubak. Yep, without me, this place would be dead. Well, without you, there would be fewer explosions. I know that much. It must be pretty sad for all of you that I'll be gone soon. It's almost unbearable. Almost. How about a shot of that old worry be gone? Well, that depends. Will you ever pay me what you owe? Of course. I just need to get some money first. But you know that I'm always true to my word. <laughs> if you find a new word that makes you look less like a fraud. Well said, Lonzo. Well said.
Did you hear about the stranger? The girl? Yes, but I don't care. Don't tell me you want to start quarreling about her with all the other idiots. Well, you know me. <laughs> I'm always the first in line when... Uh, <laughs> idiots are quarreling. Yes. Tony really gets on my nerves. Well, that's your version. Wait, did she come here too? Someone had to pay for the table you broke yesterday. Yeah, that was an awesome performance, wasn't it? Look at me! I'm Tony! Scold, scold, scold! Wine! Fret, fight, scream! <laughs> yeah, I know. Perfect impression. <laughs> you won't believe what happened to me today. Yeah, you're probably right about that. So why don't you keep your story to yourself this time? But it's got everything. Action, drama, romance. Oh, a dragon, too. Uh, no. In that case, I'm not interested. Now that you mention it, yes, there really was a dragon. Too late. Damn. I have to go. Adventure awaits. You know how it is. Yeah, whatever. Hello, Hannock. Oh, hey, uh... Rufus? Exactly. How exactly does that detonation plan of yours work? Well, that's pretty exciting, actually. Yeah, I doubt it. The chief detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then he rings a bell. Then I give a signal to the miner who will, on his part, prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. <sighs> and then you start with the exciting part? Um, no. That's it, actually. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. What exactly are you guys doing down there? What do you think? We are trash hunters. We search for useful trash. Most of the time, trash is just junk, and so pretty useless. For instance, I have a whole collection of car keys for cars that have been scrapped ages ago. Maybe you have my key, too. Mm, I don't know. What was your name again? Rufus. Let me think. Rufus, Rufus, Rufus. No, I don't think I got your key. Tony? Let me think. Tony, Tony, Tony. No, I don't think I got your key. Uh, Wenzel. Let me think. Wenzel, Wenzel, Wenzel. No, I don't think I got your key. Forget it. Done. Anything else? Is that your parrot? Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes in the mine shaft. Oh, what do you do when that happens? We get a new parrot. <laughs> I see. Did you hear about the woman from Elysium? Yes, but I really don't care. I already have a woman I can send into the mine shaft. It's too narrow in there for two women. <laughs> Love must be such a wonderful thing. Uh, talk to you later. See you, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Hello. Hello, hello. Ah, oh, I'm starving. I've eaten nothing but worms for days now. Ignore him. My wife sometimes talks to herself when she's down there. He must have picked that up from her. We can't meet anymore. <coughs> Although my husband is almost deaf, his bird has quite good ears. The emergency station is closed for lunch? Oh, great. Well, what if there's an emergency now? My nuclear-power-propelled satellite could crash into Kuvak. Or the Grizzlies could break free from my treadmills. I mean, isn't anyone thinking on their feet here?
Oh, the black. Take cover. Looks like Tony's in her store. If I go in now, her taunting remarks will shower down on me like a hailstorm. Ah, uh, well, what the heck. Let's get this over with. Well, well, well. Look who's back. If it isn't Evil Knievel, the man who defied gravity, the conqueror of the sky, the wind jockey, the traveler on his way to the upper spheres, and yet... Here he stands, right in front of me. Who'd have thought? Believe it or not, this time I really made it. I was on board an Organon cruiser. Its destination, Elysium. And then the longing for me became too much to bear. I had to choose a life of eternal bliss, which means far away from you, or saving a beautiful Elysian girl from a horrible death. <laughs> yeah, right. Rufus is doing a selfless deed. I would love to laugh. But my belly's still aching from when you were dragged through the junk. How's business? Like, uh, when did that interest you ever? Who says I take an interest? I'm just being extremely polite. <laughs> First and foremost, you have an extremely distorted view of yourself. Well, that's because my reflection in the mirror is so blindingly bright. Oh! <laughs> Why so cranky? Why? You have destroyed my mailbox. Devastated my backyard, gobbled down all my food supplies, and if I find out that the disappearance of my favorite pair of boots is connected in any way to the construction of your ridiculous escape pod, may God have mercy on your soul. Well, I had to carry the black powder in some kind of vessel, didn't I? What? Uh, nothing. I'd like to buy something. With what? Or did you get a job recently that I don't know anything about? Well, I'll pay you back. Really? Oh! I wanted to say goodbye before I leave this dump. New escape plans, have we? You are deluded. You'll never get out of here. Never, ever, ever. And that means I'll have you on my back for the rest of my life. What are those vouchers? They're gift vouchers. You hand them in at the post office, and they deliver the merchandise. Cool. I'll take them. Hey, hands off! What? They don't come free. I thought they were gift vouchers. Ugh. I've got to go. <sighs> I've been saying that for years, but here you still are. <laughs> 